Hello guys and welcome to another one of Optic Straight Debates. My name is Tadej. Hello, my name is Teodor. And today we'll be discussing the differences between thermomonoculars from Pulsar. As you can see, we have here quite a few of Helion thermomonoculars and the brand new Axions. What are the model ranges of these devices which we have here, if we start with Helions? Well, the Helion is already in the market for two years, so when they began introducing it, it came out as an XQ19, XQ38 and XQ50. 19 was later discontinued and replaced with XQ28. Then the 28 was discontinued, so now at the moment we have the XQ38 uh, and 50. And those feature <coughs> the normal sensor uh, with a resolution of uh, 384 by 288. Then we have two additional models, the XP okay. series of Helions. Completely the same device, only the sensor is bigger, 640 by 480. And at the beginning there were three models, XP28, XP38 and XP50. Now in 2019 there are only XP38 and XP50. So four models in 2019. The Axion on the other side, uh, Pulsar decided to discontinue the Quantums, the previous entry-level thermal monoculars, and they introduced the Axions. The Axions are three, three models at the moment now in 2019. So the Axion key, this, oh, this one is the key. Yeah. I apologize. I'll go like this. So the Axion key XM30, this is the entry level, the most basic one, the cheapest one. Uh, and this one costs 1,390 euros. Then we have the Axion XM30, <coughs> the standard model, I would say, and the XM38. The XM38 comes price-wise and in terms of performance quite close to the Helions XQ38. We also have a video about these two models which are the closest yeah. from both two series and differences am uh, among them. If we talk about the prices, at the moment the Helions, they start at 2400 for the XQ38F, then 2800 for the um, uh, XQ50, and then the XP models, they start at 3,400 and the most expensive, the XP50, is around 4,100 euros. Yes. With the uh, Axions, it's 1,390, so this is roughly 1,000 euros cheaper than the cheapest Helion. Then 1,990 for the XM30 and 2,290 for the XM38. Um, well, if we go on. Uh, what are the basic, uh, what are the basic uh, similarities between uh, these devices? Mm -hmm. They have, uh, basically all of these devices have the same software. Yeah, so they feature, the menus are almost the same. They yeah, through them and they also feature the display which is emulated emula emula display. Uh, the except new one. Except the key. Yeah, the except key the key. Has the it has the LCOS display. Mm -hmm. uh, the Axion, the new Axions have the AMOLED HD display. This one has the standard AMOLED. Uh, you can you can navigate the menu in the safe in the same fashion with uh, Helions as with uh, Axions. It's mm -hmm. quite I would say it's pretty straightforward. It uh, it's quite the same. Both types of thermomonoculars also have eight different uh, color palettes patterns: mm -hmm. red monochrome, um, sepia, violet, and so on. Yeah, white hot, black hot. Yeah, <laughs> that's correct. Hot quite a so few, on. quite a few. Uh, the basic functions are the same. Um, uh, and I think I think even some lens diameters are the same. Yeah, the, the 38, 38 and, and the, the 50. 50. And, the, and the 50. No, the 50. Uh, the 50, the, the 38 and the 30. Sorry. Yeah, 38 <laughs> is the same Sorry. on both, yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, the stream vision, stream, vision, uh, stream vision compatibility is also included in both these devices with Helions and with Axions. Again, without the Axion key. The Axion key doesn't have the Wi-Fi wi yes. connectability. Yes, if so we exclude the key model. Yeah. Uh, what are, but, so I would say this is all about the similarities. What are the basic uh, differences between Ooh, these two? There are many. The first difference is the sensor type. The, the new Axions, they have a sensor with a 12 micron pitch, so a smaller pixel size than the Helions, which have a 17 micron size of the pixel. Uh, so this is the first difference. And the pixel count on the Axions at the moment, you only have one sensor with 320 by 200 
40 pixels mm -hmm. of 12 microns uh, per, per, pixels, per pixel. With Helions you have two different sensors. The XQ models, they have 384 by 288 pixels. And the XP models, they have 640 by 480. Mm -hmm. So the, the sensor is different. Then when we talk about the displays, so on the front side you have the sensor, on the rear side where you're looking into the device you have the display. The displays are AMOLED type on the Axions, the two bigger models, and AMOLED also on the, all the Helions. The Axion key has the LCOS uh, uh, display. First of all, that means that the Helions and both of the blue Axions, they can be used all the way down to minus 25 degrees Celsius. The Axion key with a different type of, uh, of the display can be used I would say down to the temperatures of minus 10 degrees Celsius, not more. Uh, the display pixel count is also different. On Helions you have 640 by 480. On Axions you have 1024 by 768. On the bigger models, on the Axion key, you have 960 by 720. So a much bigger pixel count on the Axions than on the Helions. With Helion devices you have uh, the IPS5 battery which comes uh, mm -hmm. with default uh, with every Helion device and you also have an option to, to buy an additional IPS10 which prolongs your battery life to up to 10 hours or something? 16. 16, 16 hours? 16 hours with a big one, 8 hours with a smaller one. Okay, uh, as you can see you simply insert this battery, perhaps it's, it's, it's not so hard to install it, but nonetheless if we look at the new device the mm -hmm. Axion, they it's have a brand, brand new APS battery which has an approximate 4 hours of battery life and you can see it's quite straightforward how you install it, you just simply click it in here and that's it and you can simply take it out, it's yeah, very... There is one button on this side when you just push in and yeah. the battery jumps out. It's uh, very easy. For now there is only one battery type for these devices and it's the same like it's going to be in the terminals, yeah? Yeah, correct. With the Helions you have two. Yeah, two correct. different sizes and, and much longer battery life due to this. Mm -hmm. uh, the Helions are made, the, ma the material from which the Helions are made is a polymer. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Axions are made, the brand new, from magnesium. So they add, I would say, a measure of robustness to them. Um, they will probably withstand more and in my opinion they also look much nicer. They are much closer into resembling the high quality DSLR cameras mm -hmm. yeah. really you get a high quality feel from them and also when you touch them it's like really premium product because mm -hmm. they're made out of magnesium mm -hmm. uh, okay if we continue about the differences the eyepieces I wear glasses so I'm very uh, I would say picky about the eyepieces and the eyepieces on the Axion are not as good as on the Helions for those who wear glasses you can still use them but still, with a Helion, it's much easier to use them with glasses mm -hmm. uh, than with an Axion. So the eyepieces are different. Also, the design of the eyepiece is different. Uh, when you try to set the diopter, it works differently. On the, on the Helion, when you turn the ring for the diopter setting, the whole eyepiece moves. Uh, while with an Axion, uh, on the Helion, it moves um, in and out. Yeah. With a uh, with an axion, the whole eyepiece is turned when you, mm. you move this. So it's uh, it's a different principle. With glasses, using of uh, Helions is easier. Uh, then the internal memory. The Helions they have eight yep. megabyte, uh, gigabytes of internal me uh, me uh, memory, while the axions have sixteen gigabytes of internal memory. So you can do longer videos. What is also true, the key is lacking the video and photo possibility and so you can only and you are not able to connect it to your smartphone and you are not able to use smart vision uh, app with the Axion key. I think 16 gigabytes <clears throat> was first introduced now by Pulsar with the XM yeah. models 
uh, and it's really for internal internal memory it's it's really a lot so this is this is something what means that you will be able to do really a lot of videos on that yeah you will yeah. be able to uh, the range of detection the range of detection with the helion devices is i think 1350 to 100 uh, 1180 uh, no, 800? it's 1,800, yeah. 1,800, yeah. So the smaller one, the 38 millimeter lens models, they feature 1,350 meters of range of detection. It doesn't matter if it's XP or XQ. They yes. both have the same range of detection, only with an XP you get additional details, which you're Correct. able to see. With, uh, with Axions, uh, with the smaller models, so the 30 models, XM30, mm -hmm. you have uh, 1,300 meters of uh, range of detection. Yeah. And with the bigger one, the 38, you have 1,700 meters of uh, range of detection. So with the 38, you come close to the 50 models and the helions. Yeah? You, you come quite close, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Uh, although, we have to also point out that the field of view is better with uh, the helion devices. Yeah, it's much wider because the magnific uh, magnification settings are lower. Mm -hmm. So the magnification setting on uh, XQ38 is uh, 3.1. With an XM30, it's uh, four times magnification. With an uh, XM key, XM30, it's 2.5. Mm -hmm. And with uh, uh, XM38, Axion, it's 5.5. All of those have a four times zoom uh, factor so you are able to to increase your basic magnification or base magnification for four times so 2.5 to 10 4 to 16 5.5 to 22, 22 yeah. with uh, helions it's a little bit different with an XQ models you have 3.1 to 12.4 so uh -huh. four times zoom with an XQ 50 model uh, the magnification starts at hmm, 4.1 and goes to 16.4 again four times zoom but the XP the XP models they have lower magnifications 1.9 for the 38 model XP 38 yep. and 2.5 for the 50 model so you get a much wider field of view and then you have eight times zoom so the 2.5 goes all the way up to 20 and the 38 model goes from uh, 1.9 all the way to 15.2 so you get a bigger zoom ratio on the XP's. Uh -huh. um, okay, so field of view also, normally the XP models have a widest field of view. Uh, XP38 starts with 1.9 magnification, so the field of view is really, really uh, wide. I would say um, for the people who are looking, I would say for a workhorse, yeah, they would have to... They the would, right tool. Yeah, the right tool. They would choose the Helion device, which has an IPS5 battery, which uh, which you can also prolong with the IPS10. Mm -hmm. So really work uh, a workhorse, I would say. it's It looks very more... Uh, I would say it looks very robust, but uh, you have to also consider that Axions are also made of magnesium. So mm -hmm. robustness should be on par with, with Axions. Yeah, I, I would say the, 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 the Helions, they look robust while axions they look like really nice and so on but in reality i would, I would bet everything that this magnesium would, will stand as much or more than mm. the helions they yeah. just look so much nicer and you think oh i have to be careful about it because it, it looks like a candy <laughs> it's, it's truly really, really you know it's like steve jobs once said that the, their devices look like you want to lick them they are so yeah <laughs> so nice and this is something what's happening with axions they are so beautiful that you would really not uh, dare to use them in rough conditions or hard, yeah. even though they are made for it. What's also common to all of them, the Helions and uh, the Axions, they are fully waterproof and you can even submerge them into water and they will still work. Yeah. And what is also very different is that the entry point for the, for the Helions is 2,400 euros. For the Axions, with this Axion key model, which is stripped out version of the of the normal axiom you can already get it for 1390 euros mm -hmm. 
And this is something really important because this price point is really aggressive. Mm, yeah. I think that this device will make all other competitors uh, run for their money mm -hmm. because it's so affordable given the quality you get and the optical performance you get. So if you wish to go for a, if you're not to have a very compact device uh, you can put into your pocket, you can carry it, I would say, without any problems, any risk with yourself, I would say Axions are really perfect for you. Uh, mm -hmm. With Axions, Pulsar, I would say, really, they really, they really got into into details with mm -hmm. this one. Uh, they made it very nice, very neatly done. Uh, in general, a very nice compact device, which looks basically like a rangefinder. Yeah, small, compact, and and I really like the the fact that they <coughs> went into the direction of producing devices which have this quality feel to them. Yeah, because uh, they were always optically. I would say in their segment probably the best or, or at least one of the best. Usually they were the benchmark. But when you look at the Quantums before and now Helions, they, they look crude. And they look like a tool. Now with the Axion they look like a really high quality precise instrument. Mm -hmm. It's like really, really nice. So I like the fact that they went into this direction. Yeah, you know with Axions it's not, it's not really that you're looking for a device you know, I'm looking for a device which is small, compact, and so on. But it's it's not all about this. It's very it's high quality. It's yeah. high end quality. Also with the excellent. Oh, the Helions also, but the Helions look a yeah. little bit more crude. Yeah. They are more like a tool. This is more like something of a like a nice watch which you buy. One difference which we forgot. Uh, if you check all our videos, we did quite a few videos about Axions. We did quite a few videos about Helions and so on. Uh, where I think is also a big leap forward. The Axions feature the external LED diode, which shows you when you turn on the device, which is really gold, pure gold, because with Kilions or all other um, thermal devices, when you turn on, you have to wait for a second or two so that they start up, and then you are not able to know if, if you really turn them on or not. Yep. Here you see immediately that the lights, uh, light becomes green, you know, okay, it's turned on, and in one second they start to work. This is also the Axions have a startup time which is even shorter than the, the Helions, yeah, even though they function roughly the same. Yeah, they call it, uh, the Pulsar calls it a blitz startup time. Yeah. Uh, with Pulsar, with the Helion models, it's approximately like two, three, three seconds, seconds, something like four this. Four seconds, something like that. Something like this, yeah. Uh, so it is a little bit of a lag, but uh, still, um, I would say two different types of devices, two different types of customers. Yeah. If you want to have a device which works for 16 hours, which is a tool, go for the Helion. If you want something really, really beautiful, which works four hours on one single battery, which is compact and light. And just as good. Uh, yeah, the optically they are all here. Uh, go with the Nexium. Yeah. I think this is it. I think we covered, I think we d really covered this. I hope we didn't forget one. something because this topic is really, really wide and full mm. of information, different information. So if we did forget something. Yeah. If you have any other ideas uh, of any information of anything we didn't mention in this review, uh, in this episode, uh, please write us, a, write us an email or a comment on our YouTube channel. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, take care. Take until care. Next Until next time.